Well, they are hey is my story. The cheeky monkey with the oh hey is disappeared. I'm being bombarded lately by a bunch of uh, emails regarding the oh hey is. I appreciate it. I do like it. I do like the interest, and I do like the people trying to find him. But I come across something else now from America. Yes, a woman in America has done the same thing as CO in my belief and proven my point. Let's have a look. Cheeky monkey. This is where Theo walked out. Now, everybody thinks she walked out and walked past the van right here. No, because there's a corner. You walk past the van just here around the corner. And I'm having fun. Right. Now, the van was parked just there. Right, now let's just speed it up a bit. And then we get over here. And then we all know this one here, this scene here. Where I pull up and we see this. And say that again for the camera. What's in the car? Backpackers van. A van. But they're backpackers. The backpackers, yeah. So why would that backpacker now be parked up in? Right. Now, you'll let that. Now, that's the Byron Bay Lighthouse, right up, right up the top of a mountainside. Now, somebody keeps saying to me, he climbed up the rocks. The police said he climbed up the rocks. How could the police say he climbed up the rocks when the police weren't standing there when he done it? That's like saying, I'm here in Australia, i seen you steal a carton of eggs from the local shop over there in Finland or Deutschland or somewhere. Right? You weren't there. Right? You don't know. What I do is I go on physical proof. I physically stood there. You haven't. All those people keep saying, he climbed up the rock face. Stop it. He did not. I went there. Look. Now, get the, now do you get the magnitude of the cliff? They, the police scoured that for weeks. Good on them. I've done a great job. Police, SES and all the other locals, I thank you. How could you climb up the rock face? That's where the trial begins. How did he climb up a rock face? It's vertical. There's a lighthouse over here. He didn't climb up there. If he climbed up there and he fell, he would still be there. If he climbed up here and he fell, he would still be there. If he climbed up here and he fell, he would still be found because there's a rock ledge up here. But if he climbed up here and he fell, he would be washed out. But how could he climb up? It's a vertical rock face. So those people keep saying to me, he climbed up the rock face, stop talking crap. You haven't been there. Look. You're talking shit. Stop it. Stop emailing me. Tell me he climbed up the rock face. He did not. I don't even know you. You don't even know me. Right. Now, what he did do is this. Watch. Right there. Boom. Where is the wave? There's no wave. Because that's where the water comes around, hits a rock face, and goes out. It's a rip. There's a rock. There's a little rock. There's the rip. Look at the water. Look how high it is. <sighs> I have to put this story to bed, really. People look, but 
they don't see. They look and they don't see. Listen, look. There's a wave over there. That you don't realise. Boom. Let's try it again. Educate your people. The waves are coming in. They're called sets. S-E-T-S. -E sets. Water comes in this way. Water goes this way. Water goes right up to here and goes around and out here. Look at the difference between there and there. Now look at there and there. That is a rip. Right. Theo walked in one hour before the tide went down out completely, which means he walked out between these two rocks. He walked out here and got to here. Paddled around here. This water here grabbed him right here. He thought he'd go for a swim. Boom! You are gone. Gone. Because there's nothing there to stand on. It goes down like that. It's an illusion of safety. You think you are safe. It is not. Right? Look at the wave. Waves are coming in. There is no wave. Because the water's going out. Now you watch the video, you see the waves come across and that is the water current sucking the wave that way because the water's going that way. Look where the ocean level is. And my friend, there's the buttons, don't touch them. Aim the camera at me. Now, everybody, we are going to walk Now, this is where I got it wrong. I thought Theo's phone was up there at the log. Phone was found over there. No, it wasn't. I was wrong. I thought it was up there. I found a car key up there. Theo's phone was found here where this log is. Because if you go down what 60 minutes after I got back, now listen to my words, before you write me a dirty email, but when I got back, I then revised because I couldn't remember at the time on the spot like that. I travelled 800 kilometres. I'm tired. I'm puffing. I'm panting. I'm exhausted. And I'm racing to beat the rain. Are you going to think of everything? No. That's where I found the car key. That's where his phone was. Down here. Because when I did the 60 minute story and I looked at it, I thought, oh my God, I was wrong. But I don't edit it. Right. So Theo's walked up to here, put his phone down. Right. So let's back up a little bit. Now let's look at the distance from where I'm standing there, near there. See, that's a rip, right? Theo has walked down there from just here, just up here above. Now I'm going to go see if I can find the 60 minutes tape. Perfect. See, wave. Wave gets pulled down. There's the rocks. Now does it make sense? Yes. I will find the 60 minute story and I'll show you the, the other thing. Right, now let's just watch me play back my own video. Ah, this is looking good. Now what's behind me?
made me big fat ass. Yeah, go on, have a good laugh. Look at the waves. Where's the wave? Where is the wave? Where's the wave? I now paused it. There's a wave. There's another wave. There's a rock. There's me. Look. There's the rip. Where's the first wave? Here. All this water is coming down here. All this water is circulating here. Look. Look at the water. It's a drain hole. Right, I'll give you an example. You ready for it? As soon as I get the stupid thing to work. Come in here and I'll show you. Right, let's do the old-fashioned sink, sink trick. Now, I can't turn the tap, right? So you see, water goes around down there like that. We go anti-clockwise. Now, let's say, for example, see this, let's see if this picks it up. Water comes in, and I squirt it that way. Water's going to go somewhere, doesn't it? It's got to go somewhere, doesn't it? It goes to the lowest point. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Right, so. Theo walks in right here. That is on the on the 60 minutes chart. Walks out to here. This big current comes around the corner. All right? This water is coming from here. It hits the rock and it goes out. Look, it hits the rock. You can see it. It's like a garden hose. It's coming that way. It hits the rock. Then it goes around. Right. Are you now getting it? To these people, not everybody who listens to this is dumb and stupid. I've got, so, I've got several people that won't get it in their heads. Right. Let's try another bit. Go watch this video. Novice sailor rescued naked woman Three miles offshore. Go watch it. Exactly the same thing. Right, I'll tell you. Stop looking at my junk in the background. <laughs> Not feeling. It's different out here. Right, guys, I got a little something special for you today. Right, actually... now watch. This is the whole story. This is the guy, but I'm not going to do a copyright. And right up here, he shows a little map. When I find it. There it is, right there. Right, let's have a look at a little map. The distance the currents took her away was literally five miles north, two miles, two and a half miles offshore. So, but here, I gotta really give her, you know, a lot of these news organizations call me hero. I'm no hero. I was all, I was a skip all the time. Right. One question. What is the difference between North Byron Bay headland on the south side and where this man's now standing? Why did he rescue her 
and Theo not get rescued. They both went in the water at midnight. Now, look what's behind him. Boats. 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 There are no boats at Byron Bay. There's no boats there. There's no harbour. The nearest boats are the ex-fishing boats at Brunswick Heads. And they don't come down there and fish up against the beach. No, they don't. Up there at Cozy Corner. No, they don't. We don't have these sorts of boats. We don't have yachts at Byron Bay. There is no boats at Byron Bay. I'll say it again. There are no boats at Byron Bay. Because every time somebody gets washed out at Byron Bay, uh, sorry, swim out and get up on top of the rocks on the north beach of Byron Bay, Theo went in on the south beach, and they're chased out there by sharks, they have to wait for a surf, surf life rescue boat to come up there from Lennox Head. Yes, Lennox Head, 20 kilometres down the coast. They have to wait for that to get there. It takes over an hour. Because there's no boats in Byron Bay. And there's no surf life rescue in Byron Bay. On the North Beach. Let alone on the South Beach where Theo went in. And he went in at midnight. So who's going to find him? But this lady was a hero because she didn't give up from midnight until almost noon. She didn't give up, uh, but she also was so lucky in so many ways. One, uh, the LA Times reporter asked, asked the rescue boat captain who came to transfer the survivor from our boat to theirs. Uh, the LA Times reporter asked him, can a human survive 12 hours in this cold, really cold water? As it turns out, August and September, I googled it, is the warmest temperature in Santa Monica Bay. So this was, she's lucky that it wasn't two months before or two months after. This right. Theo went in there in June, which is our winter, which is our cold water time. Now do you understand? He wouldn't have lasted more than 20 minutes in the cold. He would have been frozen. That water's icy cold in the middle of winter. It's now June now. Right? In a couple of weeks' time, it'll be the anniversary for Theo. You want me to go to Byron Bay on Theo's missing anniversary? You leave me a comment. You let me know. Would you like me to go all the way up there to Byron Bay on the anniversary night of Theo's disappearance? This was manageable i think it was 66 degree or 67 degrees so based on it's still very cold very cold but human body can survive it uh i think i think i think the reason some people can't is their mind gives up because the body can go for a long time it's that people's mind gives up usually um now i'm not saying that about theo that's what he's saying about her and that's his opinion Right, let's get back to my story. He's old and he's a backpacker. He's from Belgium. He's travelled halfway around the world. He's sitting here all Mate, he's sitting there all by himself. But see, I found the car key sitting there, up there at the grass. That is not where Theo was. That's not where Theo phone was found. Oh, sorry, GPS tracking said it was not. It was further down on the beach. Right? They searched up on that grass. There was no Theo. Halfway around the world, sitting here all by himself. He's had a couple of beers. He's from Belgium. He's from Belgium. He's from Belgium. He's had a couple of beers. He's had a long day. He's tired. Turns his phone off just after midnight. He wants to save the battery. Whatever reason. Now, there was no signs of the phone moving around like a scuttle. Even on a satellite, a meter's mark will be shown. If he ran around trying to get away, you would see a bunch of little dots everywhere. There was nothing. It was sit off. 
da così sit off next time from here the sitting log whether or not this was here as I said the wrong location but doesn't matter still the same point that's where I should have realized I made a mistake now I've got the picture I want. Roughly there to there is where his phone was. On the GPS tracker. There's the main rock. Remember the main rock. Remember that rock as a, as a marker point. Remember that branch. He's walked up this beach. He's got up the head. Put his phone down. And he's gone in down there to the left hand side of the rock. Now look where that rock is, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to turn my volume down so I don't hear myself yelling in the background. Now, what's the waves? Now I tell him to do the 360 with the phone. Hey, what am I saying? Oh, he's here, he's from Belgium. He's going to have a relax. He's going to have a look. He's going to have a sniff in the air. He's going to, mmm, make me big honker. Apart from that joke. I don't know what big honker is. That's a big honker. Right. See the waves. Look. No waves. That's a rip. There's the waves. Right. So here I go. I'm impersonating Theo. Now let's just watch the waves in the background. Trying to get my head out of the road. Why did Chris have to, why do you have to put the camera so close to my head? See, look, he couldn't have climbed up the rock face. Now, now I've been distracted by the car keys. Damn it. Again. There's the waves. No waves. Can you see it or not? I don't know if this picture is going to show it. He didn't climb up the rock face. There's a trail there. He could have walked around. It was low tide. He was there one hour before dead low tide, which is exactly what this is. One hour after the tide has turned, which means he could have walked around, which is why the phone walked around there at 8 o'clock or noon the next day. Now the wave's coming in, see? Now the tide's coming in. It's going around where I walked. See? Oh, here it comes. This might be it. Let's see if you can see the water going sideways. Yes, I'm filming off my TV set. I'm not going to turn on the computer. I'm not going to do everything, right? I've done this. I spent enough money on it. I've, I've worked it out myself, and people don't want to believe it. That's fine. But yeah, how could he climb up that rock face? You, if I lift the camera up, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's a vertical rock face. He wouldn't have bothered. He's from Belgium. He's not into rock climbing. Look. See the sideway wave? Look. Go watch the video. Timestamp 4148. There you go. 4148. Go watch the timestamp. See? Water's coming in. Look at it going sideways. Look right there. 41, 42. 
Look, it's got to go out somewhere. Right, now what happened to this poor girl over there in America? Right, it's summaries. Theo has summaries, part one, facts, no media misleading. Theo. Right, putting the media number two. There's Theo. Entering comments on Theo's. On Theo. Theo's, your comments. Six months ago. One hour and 26 minutes. Byron Bay Toyota car keys found by the corner. Right? Another one. There are hairs and batters. Right? Theo's information. Lighthouse podcast. Right? I asked a question about Belgian beer. Have a listen. This is the, this is the response I got back from the YouTube video. Stella Arios, the beer made over in Belgium, is 5.2% alcohol compared to Australian BB. And two is is four point nine. The Stella Arios is sold in Australia and it's sold at uh, a lower alcohol, alcohol lower alcohol content. New South Wales, Australia, Canada, England, and America. So when it leaves the home country, it's going to be a lower alcohol content. But it's five point two in Belgium. And it's four point nine over here. Um, right now, I was dead asleep there, and I I come back. I just got off the plane. Right, I just got off the plane back from Byron Bay. So I mean, I was knackered. Anyway, there's other ones here. Uh, where are we? Well, Byron Bay, Robert Station, Byron Bay, Mullumbimby. Anyway. See if I can find the one I want to find. There we go. Byron Bay. This is it. Put the camera down there so that's how we can see it. Why isn't it coming in? I don't know if that's coming up here on the camera or not. I wonder too much light on it. Right. You can actually see... 